No, that's not disturbing at all. That's good. It's like people people are starting to realize that, that you know, it's not the best stage all around. I mean, it's it's a good neutral stage, but there are going to be certain matchups where you don't want to go. Um, and honestly, I, I, I don't. I'm not going to pretend to know why they decided to go here instead. I feel like they both characters do equally as well on this stage if can. Um, Pokemon Stadium 2, but uh, they would both die earlier off the top on PS2. I feel like Pokemon Trainer just has such a unique way of looking at the game in general. Just like on any map, I feel like you have a, a character for any map that there is. Squidle. Uh, I, I think on Battlefield, this is totally fine. Give him places to land because he's incredibly light. For sure. Ooh, okay, good recovery. And I'm actually like. Uh, I guess I'm not surprised because I don't see too many Ryu mains, but C Loss is one of those players from SoCal who uh, he made Ryu and really started to make a name for himself towards the end of Smash 4. But he's back. This is my first time actually seeing him. And he's going to lose a stock to PL right here and his Zero Suit Samus. This is interesting. Okay, I was going to say, like, Charizard versus Zero Suit. Hmm, at 0%. That sounds like a fun time. I mean, he had to pull out the, the uh, Charizard because he died on Ivysaur, so yeah. obviously the next character in the rotation is the Charizard. He switched immediately back to the Squirtle and then down uh, to the Ivysaur, which is the character that, out of the three, most people consider to be the best. Definitely incredibly fun. I have the most fun with Ivysaur. Oh, the headbutt. Yeah, Oi. forward smash, going to clean up that first stock. And uh, Henry has 66%, make that 79 to make up for now. Oh no, that grab super whip, and it's about like 13 frames. It, uh, fun fact about Ivysaur, every single grab that he has, pivot grab, dash grab, I believe dash grab still, um, they're all 13 frames in startup. But they all have different end, uh, yeah, end like they're all, they're all the same. Yeah. Um, but here we go. Pretty even game, another down B into up B, so that's going to be the flip jump kick into the... Uh, into the death. Boost kick, yeah. <laughs> Uh, figured he's gonna use flamethrower there. Flamethrower is actually a really good tool for Charizard. Oh, not getting that uh, stun gun. Yeah, flamethrower is gonna be a, a really good tool to kind of um, thwart your opponent's uh, recovery option when they're recovering low and attack on some extra percent. But we're gonna go right back to the Ivy Sword. Yeah. Okay, we got confirms off of the raise relief. Raise relief into the up there. That hitbox is massive. But he hit him with the uh, the raise relief so close to his body that it was a pretty much like. Free follow-up. Yeah, free follow-up. Okay. Now, I, I think uh, Seelos is playing it incredibly close with the Ivysaur. Not to say Ivysaur can't do oh. it, but it seems... Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, you definitely uh, <laughs> have that instinct to get away Ooh. from that, but not from that. What an amazing back air coming out from PL. I mean, it certainly was either attack cancel or the quickest of Rars. It looked more like an attack cancel to me. Uh, so it's just like really little room for Seelos uh, to react there. We're going to go to PS2. and Good spacing. That was really good spacing. Absolutely. I've always found uh, characters with those like, those really quick back airs, like really precise, like pencil thin, like with the legs. It's, I play <laughs> I play characters with the really long back airs, really large back airs. Yeah. So we're going to go into game number two, PL with one on the board. Uh, let's see what kind of adjustments Seelos is going to make here, especially on Pokemon Stadium 2. Uh, let's see if he can use the stage a little bit more to his advantage. It's looking pretty nice. 49% make it 59 unanswered. That's really clean. Oh, here's one grab. Yeah. Uh, trying to use the waterfall. Trying to okay. go for a mix up. Mm. I, don't, I don't know if I like it too much. I mean, it would have like definitely put on a little bit more percent. It would have looked cool, but he would have been in it, not in such an adaptation position afterwards. He just goes into free fall. Yeah, I think if he sends him off stage, it'll be about like even. Oh, okay. There's the first stock. PL yet again, 94%. Let's see what Seelos can do. Edgar tries to hit him with a back air. Nice right. base out. He finds it. Yeah. The tipper. Good punish on the uh, whiff grab there from PL. Oh, never see that grab. No, getting jabbed up instead. Yeah, that dash attack is so good from Squirtle. That's definitely one of those characters that you must learn how to use the instant dash attack with. Grab into the air too. Ooh, that was a really solid combo. Now the position that we've got here. <laughs> that jab has been putting in some of the for that BL. Oh, are we gonna see uh, Charizard put in more work? 
You know, for some time I thought uh, Charizard was just going to be completely useless. I'm glad to see that Charizard hasn't been defended. No, definitely not. I mean, for the most part, people will think he is like the worst of the three, but he absolutely has his useless. You do have that Flare Blitz, which can catch people on guard. You can actually, uh, a certain percent by the ledge, you can do a back throw into the Flare Blitz. It's like guaranteed setup sometimes. Um, but yeah, you're going to need Charizard to recover. Use up throw to get some stocks as well and live a little bit longer since he is the heaviest of the three. But yeah. Zeos going down to his final stock here potentially in this set. That poke, that could have had such great implication for Charizard. All he had to do was block that down uh, down air and then get the up to smash and probably kill. Mmm, no. Alright, trying to space this forward air by the ledge. Zeos, okay, he finds yeah. one. Yeah, he still kept the uh, stage control that whole time. Oh no, Paralyzer coming through for Boy. the L and the up air for Zeos. Keeping it close to the chest, Zeos just needs to find... Uh-oh, a few more confirms. Oh no, the air dodge, uh, that's might gonna be okay. cost him. Oh uh, no, yeah. he tried to go for the Vine Whip. Once he saw that, he should have gone for the immediately immediate switch into the Charger to try to recover. Yeah. Uh, unfortunate stock loss for C loss there, but it ain't over till it's over. He's gonna go down to the loser's bracket and try to make it work down there. Congratulations for PL. I think that for uh, moving on. I think that might have been a, just like a gut like reflex, like hey, I'm gonna sure. use because when you are using Vine Whip, you still get a little bit of vertical lift. I mean, yeah, it's it's it, it, it uh, tethers from a really long distance, but there's like a dead zone, which I still need to figure out. But it's pretty much like if you're right below. Yes, the ledge. it's right if you're right below and you can't tether from behind. Yeah, I mean, I don't think any tether really works like that anyway. But yeah, yeah. you can't do that. You still can't do that with Ivysaur. Uh, Ivysaur is actually the character that taught me that I can't only I can only grab the ledge like four times. Yeah. So there were times where I tried to do that, like that cool little. Uh, drop from the ledge and then you do up B and then I, I did it like a fifth time and then I die. I was like, oh, I was trying to style. Well, yeah, I mean, that's a general thing. You can't re-grab the ledge like five or six times. If, if you On the sixth time, I think you, uh, you fall, immediately fall. So. Yeah, you get this big like bubble and so it that, just pops. That, that's the same, that, that counts for tethers as well. So if you're yeah. re-grabbing the ledge with a tether, it just counts as a re-grab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does uh, screw up Ivy Swords a little bit. So I, I actually kind of like Ivy Sword recovery. Like at first I was like, eh, this isn't too great. And then I realized, oh, I just need to save my jump. Oh, yeah. now I actually have something that can go pretty far. Save your jump. Definitely. I mean, the quick switch to Charizard is going to help out as well. Uh, so let's see what we're going to have here for our next set. If you're just joining us, this is Wednesday Night Fights here in Santa Ana, California. We are in Orange County. My name is Edmund.